again, today we'll talk about C++ basics. That means we're going to start writing codes and making a program. And uh, be sure to uh, listen attentively, and uh, if possible, if right, since we'll be dealing with codes now, and codes tend to be very small, so we might want to flip or rotate your phone. Okay, you rotate your phone on a new authority, and make sure that your layout is on spotlight para ma full screen niyo ang ako ang screen. And that way, makita niyo klaro ang mga codes that you will be that I will be with today. All right. So with that being said, um, if, you, if you're ready, let's get started. And if you have any questions or clarifications, share it with the class, you know, after uh, the lecture. Or you can send in your questions through our Facebook chat group. And um, in our last meeting, we've talked about the programming process. So that includes defining the program, planning the solution, coding the program, testing the program, and documenting the program. So do you have any questions so far regarding our previous lesson, guys? Do you have any, after the assessment and assignment, do you have any clarification or something that you might want to, you know, you might want to clarify? Huh? Oh, well, okay, let's discuss. Okay, let's discuss. Hold on, let me open it up real quick. All right, let's go on. Let's check rather. Let's check our assessment activity before we proceed. Let's check whether or not we are ready for our next lesson. Can if any can anybody please try to answer here? So it is a step by step solution to a problem that uses symbols as representation of the process. Alright. So it's a step by step procedure, but we are using we're dealing with symbols, and each symbol has its own meaning depending on its functionality. And then um, these are the planning tools used for program designing or planning the solution of the problem. Asani. Anyway. I'm going to write about Panegram. Right. So these are the tools, planning tools used for program designing or planning the solution of the problem. So we'll discuss what are flowcharts, what are algorithms. So basically flowcharts, are the step-by-step -step procedures on how a, a program will run or a solution, step-by-step -step solution to the problem, but using symbols. And then the algorithm would be the same, similar to the flowchart. However, instead of using symbols, we're using step-by-step -step in list. Right? And then here, in this stage, analysts like us identifies and analyzes the situation that leads to the problem. Finding the problem. Okay. It is a symbol and flow chart that is used to indicate instructions that is to be carried out by the program. That's right. Okay. If there are any instructions that need to be carried out, that means we will be using process. Correct. Right. Then it is a it is step-by-step -step solution to a problem where the processes are written in least. Right, and then it is a symbol in flowchart that is used to indicate the beginning and the end of the program. And it is a symbol in flowchart that is used to split the sequence into multiple paths representing selection or repetition. All right, and then it is a tool needed to write a program that converts the syntax into machine code form so that they can be read and executed by the computer.
Yeah, so it's compiler. Okay. So basically, the IDE is an overall, this is a great tool to program, and IDE is because it will allow us to develop programs much easier with full control. But the IDE is just, ang, ang compiler, the main purpose of a compiler is to translate, to translate the code that we've written into a machine code so that it can be executed by the computer. So, yang it translates the compiler ang atong C++ code so that the computer will be able to run it or execute it. And then, true or false. Desk checking is an informal manual test that allows programmers to spot errors that may keep the program from working correctly. So, what I'm doing, desk checking is just from the time suggest informal because you're just going to while you are still working on your code you are spotting some errors using your eyes mura ka ice ice baby ba ice ice baby matamataw lang nimo asa ang mga error but it's not formal using your eyes and then open the program Right, so it says here that the average score is 19 over 11. So, have everybody, almost everybody got the scores. It says here that out, there are 46 students who got perfect. So, that means we are free to proceed to our next topic. So, if everyone's ready, let's get started. So, today we'll talk about C++ basics. So, since this is basic, so we're just going to... Well, let's start from the very the ECS um the ECS level in programming. We'll talk about what is C plus plus. We're going to talk about how to install C plus plus. Um we're going to discuss or we're going to create our very first C plus plus program and as um we'll end it with discussing the C plus plus output. So to start with um okay. Here's a picture and I want you guys to find Three. There are three things wrong in this picture. Try to find them. Go. Anyone? Kita yung makaspat sa unang sayo? Traffic light. Very good. What's the problem with traffic light? Ready? So long. Will I stop? All right. Let's get to get into play line. So that's a one. There are three things wrong with them. But, I don't know. Bus, but now. Drain, the bus. Okay. So, I'm train now. She's called Sada instead of rail. All right. So, what else? Number. Okay, kind of obvious, obvious na. Um, the reason why I'm showing this picture to you is because part of a, being a programmer is just being able to spot errors. Right? Um, there are one of the annoying things about being a programmer is that na ay mga errors sa some programs. Sometimes our programs will not work and it's very hard for us to spot what is the problem. And in the end, semicolon the day ang problema. So uh, the reason why I'm showing you that because part of an attribute of being a programmer is just to be able to spot errors. Um, um, right away. Anyway, good job, everybody. Let's begin our lesson now. So, C, what is C++? C++ is a popular cross-platform language that can be used to create from simple programs to high-performance applications like operating systems, browsers, video games, 
art applications, and so on. It was developed by Bjorn Sustro in 1979 at Bell, Bell Lab. C++ is largely based on the C++ programming language. All right? So <clears throat> C++ is the programming language that is chosen by the NURSO, by Negros Oriental State University, as the fundamental programming language for programming one. It's because we believe, or NURSO believes, that C++ offers the easiest approach when it comes to programming. So although most of the programming languages have similar approach or similar, you know, similar, you know, approach, but C++ offers the easiest. At least that's what NORSU believes in. And that's why we are um, offering C++ as our programming language that we'll be discussing for programming one. So although it offers the easiest approach in programming, it can also perform from simple programs to high-level, um, high-performing applications like games, operating systems, and many more. So C++ is largely based on C programming language. So before C++, now a programming language called C, and maybe some of you have already heard it. And C++ is largely based on it. So in fact, C++, okay, the reason why it's written C++ because in programming, C++ um, plus plus, and then duaka plus means increment, and increment means one step higher, all right? So again, in programming, plus plus means increment. When you say increment, one step higher. So it's like C++ is a step higher than the C programming language. So it's, although it's old, it was developed in 1979, but the reason why it is being chosen as the base uh, programming one uh, language is because C, C and C++ offer similar approach, but C++, C must die and C, it's a C++. So we're just going to use the um, newer one, which is C++. Anyway, uses of C++. C++ programming language is capable of developing diverse types of secure, efficient, and reliable applications like computer games, web client and server applications, device drivers, embedded systems, and many more. Okay, again, don't worry. C++ is because um, But don't you worry because C++ is, is actually being used for high-performance language. So C++ has very simple approach in programming, but it can perform, it can be used to, to create high-level applications. C++ installation. So this is how you're going to install C++ on your computer or on your mobile device. So good news, good thing nowadays because right now we, we can practically use our phones, our devices, if we have a computer, we can use our phones to program, to create programs. So if it was a pandemic a couple of years ago, if it was time ago or time sa mga mas edad edaran, then problem ka ayo. But right now we are very lucky because we can use our computers, we can use our cell phones rather as our, you know, as our IDE, or Integrated Development Environment. So anyway, to get started, you need to download an Integrated Development Environment, or IDE, and a C++ compiler. Today, we will be using the Dev C++. It is by Bloodshed, a free, portable, and C simple C++ IDE with a built-in compiler. For smartphone users, we will use CXX Droid. And once installed, you may start working on your very first C++ program. So I'm guessing everybody's already installed your C++ and uh, Dev C++ and CXX Droid. Okay. Um, we'll continue. We're not going to be talking about the installation. We will continue with how to use them. So let's start with the Dev C++. So to start writing a program, you have to start by creating a new project. So go to File, New, Project, and then select Control Application under the Basic tab. Click the C++ Project button, enter the project name, and then click OK. You will be prompted to select where you want to save the project. Once it's set, click Save. You can now begin working on your very first C++ program. So let's try that. So here's a screenshot on how to start. But let's do it right now.
let me open up my Dev C++ here. So, basi matingala mo na uh, kung Dev C++ here is a little bit different from yours. Basically, I've already customized it, but you don't necessarily have to do it yourself. But anyway, I have up here the Dev C++, and the first thing that we're going to do is to hold on. Nawala akong screen. Pa click file. So, medyo gamay ang akong text because dako ang akong screen. So, again, please go ahead and rotate your phone so that at least ma maximize ang space. And then make sure na naka full screen ang akong screen. Alright? So, again, file at the top, left corner, and then new. And then select project. So, we have file, new, and then project. Alright? And then next is you're going to have this on that, that uh, window. So make sure you're under basic. Now actually different tabs. We have basic, multimedia, Win32, and console. This time we're just going to make sure you're under basic and then console, select console application. So when we say console application, we are going to create a program that is text-based. Meaning, um, all the functionalities will be text-based. Walay mga graphics, walay nana, because we're still on the basic money board. We're still part of since this is interaction computing, what we are trying to get is the idea on how programming languages or how program, computer programming works. So again, under basic, so control application, meaning this is just a text-based program. And make sure you selected C++ project here and then type in the file name. So let's say, hello world. All right, let me add two because I think I had lots of hello world in the second desktop. And then once you've select, once you've entered the file name, click OK. All right, and then you'll be routed. Go on. You mo sa on where you're going to go on, save your file. So in my case, let me save it in my library, and then um, first semester computer programming one, and then C++ program. All right. Let me save it right here. So once you've already selected the location, click save. Okay. All right, and we're ready. Now, this is what I've talked about. So in my case, say you ang siguro pag install niyo delicia black. Ako gito yon na kung dark is because medyo sakit sa mata. Anyway, I ako rin ang change myself, but you don't necessarily have to do it yourself. Anyway, so once once go on, once you're ready, you will see this. So it's already been nana sa iha mga codes, but we're going to erase all of that because we're going to start new ones later on. Okay, so that is for the CXX Droid. Oh, I'm sorry, the C++. But for the CXX Droid, here's how you're going to do it. Okay, to start writing, hold on. to start writing a program using your smartphone, install and open CXX Droid. You will be routed to a new CX or C++ file. You should be able to start writing your program from there. However, to write and compile your program easier, you have to save your work first by tapping at the folder icon and then save as. Navigate to the folder where you want to save your file, then tap select folder, input the file name with extension .txx, and then click save. Alright, so here are the instruction or the screenshot of the instruction how to do it. But of course, we'll try, we'll try to do it ourselves right now. Hold on. Let me connect my phone real quick. Okay. All right. So I've already installed CXX Droid right here, so I'm just open, going to open it up. Yeah. And then that is CXX Droid. So basically, when you once you open up CXX Droid, we should be able to start writing right away. Okay. However, we don't want to do that. The first, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to save it first. Okay. The difference between this is we have to save it first. We have to set a location, and to do so, just tap on the folder icon. Kana, kana siya. Click tap na and then click save us. All right, and then navigate to the location where you're going to save it. In my case, I'm just going to save it in the internal storage. 
And then I have created here a folder for C++ project. So you can either create new folder, just tap on the new folder at the top. It's gonna add new folder. But in my case, I've already created one, so I'm just going to open it up. And then tap on the select folder. Can uh, can select folder and then type in the file name and then make sure to write .cxx. So now I say .cxx, make sure not to remove it, okay? Because that is the file extension. So for example, hello. And then save and that's it. All right. So this this is where I can write my code now. That's it. So that is how you're going to use um CXX Droid and MC plus plus. Do you have any questions so far? How are you going to start? So again, let's let's try again, okay? So for the Dev C++, again, file, new, and then project. Make sure you're under basic, and then control application, and then select C++ project. Enter the file name, and then OK. And then look for the location. Select the location where you're going to save it. And then click save, and then you can start. All right, for the CXX Droid, let me start over. So open up CXX Droid. And then tap on the folder icon at the top. Save us. Look for the location where you're going to save it. In my case, it's under C++ project. Select folder. Enter the file name and then click save. And then you can start writing the code. Alright. So easy lang. Sayang takaya siya paggamit. Okay, next. Your first C++ program. So right now, we are going to create our very first C++ program. And let's see how it works. So let us begin by writing a simple program that will display hello world on the screen. Write the following code. So... For now, we're just going to use the dev C++ so that it would be faster for us. So the code here is, and again, this program will display hello world on the screen. So it's very simple. The function is just, it will just display hello world on our screen. So let me close this real quick. And then let me open up Para madali, I've already created that file. So, Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Nyong. All right, excuse me about that. All right, so this is the code, Bob. Right? Let's check. It's pretty All right, so this program will display hello world on the screen. So let's check. So to check whether or not this our program works, so we just have to select execute and then compile and run. Compile and run. And then it should display. Hold on. Here. All right, it says the low world. So as you can see, um, this is just a console, meaning it's a text-based program. So we're just going to uh, discuss the functionality of the program itself and using text. So right now, it displays the low world. So that means our program works because it actually displays the text that we want it to display. Now, we're just going to discuss each line to see what's going on. All right, we're going to discuss the functions of each line. So basically this is the code and this should be the output. Now, let us understand each part of the programs below. So let's start with the first line. It says here, 
hash include and then IO stream. IO stream is uh, enclosed with double or open close angle quotation. So what does it mean? So it in, meaning it includes the standard input and output library function. This is necessary so that our program is capable of receiving and displaying data. So first is let's talk about what is IO stream. The IO stream is a standard library or a library in C++ that has the standard input and output function. So that means basically whenever we install C++ in our computers, na ashay mga daghan kay library. When say libraries, it contains multiple functions ba? And IO stream is a library for C++ that contains the input and output function. So when we say input, we're going to input or we're going to enter data to the program. Output, meaning we're going to display data from the program. So since we use hello world, so basically we are trying to output something. We are trying to output data, right? So that's why we have to include the IO stream, meaning input output stream. Okay? And the function, the code that will be used so that it will be included in our program is hash include. So basically, hash include means we're going to include the input and output stream so that it can be used to our program. All right? That gets us so far. Okay, again, going, let's repeat. IO stream, okay, again, IO stream is a, a library, a C++ library that contains the functions for input and output. So without the IO stream, we cannot use, we cannot display any text we cannot enter any text to our program, all right? So IO stream is, uh, the IO, we need to include the IO stream in our program so that we can use input and output function. Now, for us to be able to include this library, we have to use hash include. So this is a command, the hash include is a command that will allow us to use or to include the IO stream. All right, and then second line, using namespace standard or SPD. So using namespace SPD. It sets any undeclared identifiers to default, meaning standard. So we will, we will talk more about identifiers in the future, but when we say identifiers, these are the, the terms, the words, right? The symbols that we're going to use for program. Anyway, it will be discussed in our future lesson, but Basically, we are just setting, we are just declaring that all the identifiers will be standard. Now, the location will make sense wrong, but once we get through our uh, future topics, we will learn what exactly that means. But anyway, every program must always, con, we have include IOSRIM, we should always use the using namespace standards. And that way, all the codes that we'll be using will be the standard code. All right, it's just a declaration that all the codes that we'll be using will be standard, all right? So delete always is siyang naa ang include IO stream o ang using namespace standard. So using namespace std and then semicolon, all right? Don't forget the semicolon. The next is int main. Int main and then followed by uh, close and op open and close parentheses is the main function when the program execution begins. It is followed by curly bracket, just like that indicating the start and end of the function. So the int main starts the execution. That, that is the start where the program execution begins. Okay, that means tanan nga inside an int main, diba? we have int main and then uh, open and close parentheses, and after that we have open and close angle brackets, or curly brackets rather. Everything that, that is inside this curly bracket will be the program, Basically, that is the execution, or the, that is the contents of our program. Dere nato ibo tang unsay atong e, unsay mahimo functionality sa ato ang program. So everything is default. Kana default na siya always yutang na ani kaning include I stream. Second, we should always have using namespace std default. Int main and kaning curly brackets are default. But this is where we are going to customize the functionality. Dere nato ibotang unsa man gani ang functions na atong i-add sa atong program. 
All right, so that is the int main. So write int main and then um, open and close angle bracket, uh, parenthesis, and then followed by two or open and close curly bracket. And the next line we have, this program displays low world on the screen. This is just a comment. It does not contribute to how the program works or display in the program execution. This is only used to keep programmers be guided writing long, long lines in the code. So as you can see, we have here a whole new sentence that starts with double duaka forward slash. So this is just a comment, meaning it doesn't have any contribution to the program. It will just allow us to write something to our program just for us to be guided. For example, you've you've been writing your program in the ganakaayo nga mga lines of codes, let's say yung nanakay mga thousands of codes. And in a review ni mo maglibog na asa na tong code nga pang nanaba. So you can always use um, comments so that you, we will be guided. You will be guided with whatever it is that you want to do. So again, this is just fun. Um, this is not, it doesn't have any functionality. This is just a comment. Again, this is to guide us, uh, to keep us guided, to keep us documented. And then lastly, return zero. It tells the compiler that it is the end of the main function. Again, the main function is katong atuang int main. So this is the main function, tinatanan, and the return zero tells the compiler that it is the end of the main function, thus terminating the program. So our compiler will read each line of code individually. And we'll read the, each line of code individually. And whenever nabutang na siya sa return zero, then the compiler know that it is already na, na, na siya sa end of the program. That means the program must be stopped. So return zero. And what maybe you notice nga na ay mga semicolon here. Each line of function must always end with a semicolon. It serves as a statement terminator. This means that the compiler must proceed to the next line. So again, di ba, compi our compiler will read the codes line by line. So if in read niya, nga nakita siya semicolon, that will tell the compiler na it, it's already the end of the line, then proceed to the next line. Para ba na ba? Since na nasa semicolon, kung na nasa ang end sa line, then the compiler should check to the next line. That's why we should always end our program or each line of our codes inside our main function kana, with a semicolon. Right? So, so far, do you have any questions? Kung sa mga nga na live gun. Right? Okay, let's try again. Why don't you let you keep? Okay, this is just a very simple program, but siguro tanan ng abutang mo start simple, di ba? Ilailahon sa nato ang mga parts of the the parts of our simplest program para ready tato to level up with the ko ane, uh, you know, higher level ng programming. So again, basically these are parts of the C++ program. So always ni sila tanan nga naa. Okay. The first one is we have the first line include IO stream using namespace std int main and then kaning uh, parenthesis open and close followed by a curly bracket. So default na siya. So di na siya pwedeng mawala when we are creating a program. So the functionality is that for I, the include IO stream, again the IO stream is a library containing input and output function. So, so that we can display hello world, para maka display of hello world, we need to use the IO stream because without the IO stream, delete tama pa display of text because again, input and output function. Displaying is, um, kung mo display tag text, is an output function. Diba? That's why we will use IO stream. And then for us to use the IO stream, we will call it using this code. So we will use hash include and then IO stream enclosed with open and close angle bracket para magamit nato siya successfully sa atong program. Right? And then the second line, the using namespace standard is just a declaration that all the codes, all the syntax that we will be using will be the standard one. The identifiers that we'll be using are, is the standard. Anyway, we'll talk more about the namespace in our future lesson. And then 
the three, the third line is int main. This is our main function. So this is all, where all our the functionality will be written. So tanda na mga functionalities at tanda mga instructions ng atong ihatag sa computer will be written inside the int main. All right? So how to write int main? We have int main and then open and close parenthesis and then followed with two curly brackets. So, dire na to ibutang ang ato mga instructions sa computer, di ba? Program, computer program are just set of instructions. So, this is where we're going to write the instruction to our computer. Alright lang. And again, the kaninga line, this program displays low world. It's just a comment, meaning it doesn't it doesn't really do anything to the program. Pwede na kuning tangtangon o mulay mahitabo ra sa computer sa akong program because this is intended for the programmers para guided sila especially if they're already working on hundreds or thousands of lines of code now. so you can always add comments to your program so to write a comment you will just have to start with two forward slashes and then the cout function is basically the function that will allow us to display a text so the cout is the object or basically the katongaina, the I.O. stream, this is the code that we will use from the I.O. stream that will allow us to display the text, hello world. Now, how do we write hello world? How do we display a text? So we will write C out, followed by two angle brackets, open angle brackets, and then our text, however, our text must be enclosed with two quotation marks, and then end it with a semicolon, just like, that all right and then lastly we have return zero and then add, end it with the semicolon so remember that all of the codes all of the functions that is inside our main function meaning to load the atom curly bracket must always end with a semicolon now this one will actually end of semicolon is because this is not a code this is just a comment will only say function all right anyway we'll talk more about it in just a few moments the return zero as tells the compiler that it is the end of the program. Thus, pwede na niyang i-end ang program. Nag-guess na so far the functionalities of each line? Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Baldosa, go ahead. Uh, all right. So after you come write of int main, the ba natay sini ko anatay parenthesis. After the parenthesis is kaning curly bracket. So imong irate ni mong open diha. Then dere ni mo is function. And then pinakalas mo ang katong atong curly close na curly bracket. Sakto ba na na answer ba na ang question? So kaning bracket dere isulod nato ang tanan nga instruction hatag sa computer. Alright? Okay. okay. Good. Okay, so testing your C++ program. Now, to see if the program is working, we need to compile and run it. To do so, click the execute menu. This is for C++. Select compile and run or just simply press F11 on your keyboard. For the CXX Android, simply tap the can play icon at the bottom of the screen. So, I guess we will try using our Dev C++ code para sure. So, I will send you the code that we use. Can I send up on a that on GC so that you can try it yourself later on. Hold on. Right. And then we're going to test. We're going to try our program using the CXX for those who doesn't have any computers at home. So let's open up CXX Droid. So I have got it right here. All right. And then let me save it. 
save as and then the location let me save it in C++ project select folder and then let me type hello world one two three and I that's okay All right, save, okay? And then we're going to erase all of this. We don't need that. We're going to paste the code that I sent you. Okay, all right? So I'm not going to type it one by one, so I'm just add this copy and, and paste it. And then to run it, to check whether or not it's running, you just have to click the, kanin, kanin na sa ilalong, kamantay mo, na ay murag play na icon. Okay, now I'm replaying the icon, so that is, well, that's it. We just have to click that, and then, all right, so it's run. It says here, hello world. Ano lang, talira kayo. And to go back, it's that, it's stop on the box, ice on the top, and then continue writing your code. All right, for Dev C++, to check whether or not you're, to check if your program run, then you just have to select, can I execute at the top, and then compile and run, or simply stop, or just type in using your keyboard F11. So compile and run. And then wait until this text box display or this console display. It says here, hello world. Alright? So we can either change that. For example, let's change it to hello world. Hello world. I am Julia. Alright? Right, let's save. To save, you just have to control S, type up, click control S or file and save, and then execute, compile, and run. Yes, right, it says here, hello world, I am Julie. Right, so again, how to write an output. So we have the out, and then two angle brackets. And then our text, all right? And notice that our text is enclosed with double quotation mark. And we should always end with a semicolon. And then since it's already the end of the program, then we will write return zero. That means that is a command that will tell the compiler that it is the end of our program. And then of course, it must be all enclosed with the curly bracket. Let's save and then compile and run. So again, to compile and run, execute and yeah. So far, do you have any questions so far? Yep. Right. This is the code. If you want to, you can edit, try it yourself later on. So this is the code. You can always change the within your sobo-sobo ni mga tulog aning quotation marks. And uh, this should be the expected output. All right. So same thing with the CSS droid and so on and so forth. So this is the code. This is the output. All right. So lastly, we are going to focus on, we are going to understand, you know, deeper. <laughs> we are going to understand C++ output in, you know, much a better approach. So to display any data from the program, we will use a predefined object for output, which is C out. Delicious count. It is C out, all right? In our example, the C out object is used to display a single line of text, hello world, so for example, a while ago. So to do so, type C out, followed by two angle, open angle brackets. So open, okay? So open, so I'm not sure. Basta, suhiran nga code gamita. And the text. The text must be enclosed with double quotation marks, just like that. Then end with a semicolon. For example, C out and the two angle brackets, and this is an output enclosed with a semicolon, uh, with double quotation mark, and of course, end it with a semicolon. Okay, just like what we did in our example here, diba? C out and then two angle brackets, and then our text must be enclosed with two angle uh, two um, double quotation marks, 
and then end with a semicolon. So, we're able to display one single line of text. O sara siya kalinya nga text. We can also display multiple lines of text. To do so, we will use the object end L. Okay, this is another object. The end L is used to insert a new line of the output stream, meaning we can add multiple line ba. Muratag kung sa keyboard pa ni press ta og enter. So to do so, open bracket, uh, put two open bracket after the text and add an L and end with a semicolon. Another way is of inserting new line is to put backslash N inside the text body. For example, okay, this is the first line and then we end it with uh, we added two open angle bracket and then end L. Delina I, okay? So end and then L, letter L, and then semicolon. So this will allow us to add multiple lines. Okay, so let's check. What, so what will happen if we're just going to add, and for example, if we're going to add another text, uh, let's say, uh, let's rename, let's change it to this is the first line. All right. What will happen if we're just going to add another C out here? This is another line. Okay. What do you think will happen if we're just going to write it this way? If we will run it, what do you think will happen? Huh? On today, what do you think will happen? All right, this is what's gonna happen. Let me save it real quick. Let's check what will happen. Compile and run. Here. And then hit the This is the first other line. Although, gibutan nga na nato siya o enter, gintira naman nato siya, galayin break naman ta. What if dunga ga nato, sir, daghan, sir? Dunga ga nato na. Okay. Let's save. And then let's X compile and run. Let's see what will happen again. Here. Dumpay ra giyapon. Although, itak na nato o enter. That is because in C++ programming, in C++, these line breaks, um, negative spaces, like, Space, line breaks doesn't really matter it doesn't really matter at all so there must be some kind of command for each one for example line break there must be a command to that or meaning if we're going to add multiple lines so the first the first step there are two ways on adding multiple lines the first step is using the end l function or object so to do so after the text okay the what's the uh, double quotation mark, we will add double angle bracket and then end L. And that. So if we're going to add that, so let's save. So again, outside just of text, so because this is our text enclosed with double quotation marks, it, it is outside the text. So if we're going to save that and then execute, compile and run, Here's what's gonna happen. Do wanna siya ka? Line. Nagulag na sila. So, like forever to know. Okay, nagulag na sila. The first line is, the second line is now next to or below the first line. Diba? That is one way. Yeah. It says here, na napay lang paagi daw. Another way of inserting a new line is to put backslash n inside the text body. So, remember, inside the text body so if um nl is outside or after the text the slash and backslash and must be inserted inside the text so let's let's create another line so we have see out this is the last line all right so let's, all right another way to know is to add slash n inside the text. So meaning inside our double quotation. So we're going to add slash, backslash rather, and then n. Okay, we say backslash is added, forward slash. So it's leading to the left. Yeah. 
save, let's save that and then execute kung palan run oh sorry na na da semicolon okay kulang semicolon execute kung palan run and here all right so we're able to create multiple lines with two different ways on doing so question all right so maybe you've noticed any error message because again in whatever it is that is inside or all the functions inside our main function meaning tanan nga mga isulat nato inside sa um curly angle angle bracket so long as it's functional meaning ulay labot ang kaning comment we should always end it with a semicolon all right what will happen if we're going to remove the semicolon? Next. If we're going to save that, the good thing about DevC++ is it will display an error message. Next. O error siya, pula siya. It will tell us that expected semicolon. Ay nakabot, Andre. I'm not sure if you can say it, but it will say expected semicolon. Meaning, it is expecting a semicolon. Anyway, it will tell us what to, dis what to do mga po if ever nata yung error. All right, so that is C++ basics, C++ output. That is the easiest possible uh, programming, um, you know, programming for C++. So, do you have any questions, guys? Do you have parts Go ahead. Okay, so we You can always. Oh, puede. Okay, puede. You can. This uh, this is just to show you that you can use two way. You can use. Um, there are two ways in breaking a line. So you can either use this, or you can use this. So we can either. Pwede na tong end line ra tong gumiton sana. So, uh, for example, I remove na to ni. So we'll use end l. Ana save. I compile and run. Same ra siya. Nag-break ra siya yung line. Or we can remove this. And then we will use backslash n for both lines. Da? But make sure na it's inside the quotation mark. Execute. And then run. It will work just the same. Alright? Do you have any questions so far? Other questions? Remember, the first four lines, kani ah, okay, kani siya, always na siya nga ibutang, murag default na siya ba, kani include IO stream using namespace std, uh, int main, and then by the way, this curly bracket are still part of the int main, okay, so pwede na ito na ibutang di ha, okay ragya, okay ragya ka IO. So again, spaces, line breaks doesn't really matter in, uh, in, in, in C++, so pwede na ako na ibutang na ako di ha, pwede na ako na ibulagong sagasa, because it doesn't really matter at all in C++. Pero, I, I encourage everybody to try to um, so e organize na tumaya itong code because it, it looks better and it's much, it is much easier to, um, to, to manage the code. All right, so Bitao, do you have any questions or clarifications? Alright. So anyway, all of the codes will be koan. Ibutang na ako dres sa PowerPoint presentation. And uh, just don't mind the koan katong. Again, this presentation was prepared last year, so there might be some things in here na makalibo. For example, ang link, ang date, ana. So ay ay ramo kaming ana. Anyway. I will go, I'm going to upload this so that you can have a copy of it yourself. And then I'm going to send you a link, a separate link for your assessment. Dili ni mao nga link, ha? Musang sublain. And then the deadline would be Monday, um, here, Monday, um, October 11 at 4 p.m. That is for the assessment. And for the assignment, here, here's your assignment. Write a C program that will display the following text. Hi, my name is, and then your name. I am. And then your age, years old. Oh, what? 
and then I live in, and then your hometown. So for example, hi, my name is Julius R. Publico. I am 25 years old, and I live in a human. Right? So this is an example output. So note that your assignment will submit only a screenshot for the code and the result. So meaning, do akabok na screenshot ra yung send. One for the code and one for the output. So just like this. Kanay. Uh, Anay screenshot para sa code, screenshot for the output. And kwan lang, please na lang kung po, og rename sa file name, okay? So if it's code, please rename it to code and then if it's output, rename it to output. I get that? Mario? Okay. All right. So, if no questions, please turn on camera real quick. Oh, good. Come on, come on, come on. Can I? Ah, uh, sign in. Uh, Anyway, ako man, ako post on yung sa Google, so no worries. Okay, so again, please. Alright, uh, guys, this is just as easy as possible, right? CS Pro's link. So, I mean, this is the best part. So, this way, try to try to set it up as a strong Okay, next lesson, we will try to make, try to make program. Complex. That's it. Our program, the program is capable of doing right now is to display some text. So, so in our next lesson, we are going to create a program that will allow us to input data. All right? So that will be in our next lesson. All right? So please turn on your cameras, guys. There are only a few people who are turning on their cameras and don't really like that. Please turn it on. Please, 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 please. Dapat gani i-turn on ninyo yung camera while mag-classy. Basta naka, you know, if naka-wifi man gani mo, except those who are using mobile data, it would be fine. <laughs> Alright, now if I pila ka buk mo, wala pa ni on, dun ang camera, please turn it on guys, please turn it on. Alright. Ready, 3, 2, 1, final. All right, thank you so much, guys. Okay, no, no.
So, yeah.